Hi Divas, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, I'm Monique, I'm the Diva. Today we are going to be doing what is in my hygiene travel bag. Blessings all. If you are not new, welcome back Diva Squad. Mm, by the way, this new pineapple honey black tea from Starbucks is amazing, you guys. You should try it out. I'm going to go ahead and get started. So let's get into this. This is a pretty big bag and it is an Adore Me bag, but I plan on getting a different bag. I want to get the new Dulce Candy Travel Size bags. They are cute and to die for you guys. So diving in, the first thing I see is this um, duo cotton swab and cotton ball travel thing. And this is just off brand and it's cheap. All of the products and the items that I have in my bag will be linked down in the description bar below. The next thing that I find in here is my face soap. And this is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Scrub. And always, always when you go on a trip, you should always bring yourself a mask. And I try to do a mask at least once a week. And this is the Dead Seas Mineral Anti-Stress Mask. Because, honey, we don't want to be stressed out on our vacay. Um, I will be going to a hot place for my spring vacation. So this will be good just in case the climate is not very good to my skin or my skin doesn't really agree with the climate. So this is a good thing. Also to go with that, I have this um, Bior nose strip for deep cleansing charcoal pore strip. This is just a little trial that I got, but I have used these quite a bit. Um, just to let you guys know, if you do use these, try not to use them more than three times a week, just by my opinion, because it does rip off a layer of your skin right along with those blackheads. So be careful when using these. Another thing that I see in here is makeup remover cleansing towelettes compared to Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes. These are amazing, you guys. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get some cleansing towelettes like these when you can get a compare to and get it for like two to three dollars cheaper. And that's exactly what I did. So that's that there. I got some baby powder just in case I need to put some baby powder in areas that get real sweaty and feel like gross. You know, you want to be, you want to feel nice and velvety soft, like it says, instead of nasty and grungy. The next thing that I'm going to pull out of here is some Dove Deep Moisture Body Wash. I do have that there. And I try to carry a few different kinds of lotions. The first kind of lotion that I'm going to be showing you is the Eucerin. This is a really good lotion that it's a cream lotion that you can use on like the cracked dry areas like your feet, the heels of your feet, knees, elbows. And even if it's like a very hot climate where you're at and you need to moisturize your skin, this is a really good product. Another lotion that I use is Nivea Smooth Sensation. This is for dry skin. This works really good. It's not as thick as the Eucerin, but the Nivea is just as good. And I'm gonna throw this in here even though I need to re-up my French Lavender and Honey Bath and Body Works Travel Size um, spray and lotion and i'm putting this in here because i want you baby boy hook me up please i know you've got the goods and i know you can hook me up at bath and body works also i need this do done you can hook me up shout out to baby boy check his page out on instagram he is really good at doing hair um face pads and cotton balls it has two different types of cotton balls in here this is cotton balls 
and these are cotton rounds and this is what we use for like if you want to take makeup off your face or if you cut yourself or if you need to use the a cotton ball for toner or if you need to just give yourself a mani whatever the case may be i always bring cotton swabs and cotton rounds to everywhere that i go when i am traveling next wet ones because you never know if the toilet paper is going to be safe or if it's too hard for your bum use the wet ones you might step in some thing anything you might need to clean up something anything ladies you know what i'm talking about wet ones wet wipes the next thing is razors ladies you know you gotta stay clean and shaven when you're on your spring trip so i have these razors so just in case i get a little it gets nipply or something like that and i need to shave my legs or shave somewhere that i haven't shaved the day before i just bring these just in case or you never know what might happen you might need these for a friend or a family that might be on the trip with you and that's those Next thing I have is the Secret Powder Fresh Deodorant. Ladies, divas, men out there, this goes under your arm right here. You put it on so you smell clean. You don't want to walk around smelling like musk. Please put your deodorant on. Don't smell like musk. That's what deodorant's for. And you could even use powder to do that. If you don't want to use deodorant, throw some powder underneath your arms. You guys need to stop walking around stanking, especially this season. It's going to be spring and summer. It's going to be really hot. Make yourself smell good. Smell good with lotion. Smell good with deodorant. Smell good with wash your butts. Wash your butts. Next thing that I see in here is a clip and a hair tie because I do have long hair, as you can tell. <laughs> The next thing in here that I do see is a little small pill case that I have my vitamins in here on one side and on the other side I have some um, allergy medications just in case I'm allergic to the um, area that I'm in, any food that I eat, anything or even my kids might be allergic to something, my husband, any family member that will be traveling with me. I just take these on the go just in case so that I do have my vitamins, medications, and allergy relief. And, and you guys, don't get it twisted because we have the EpiPens too. And you should bring the EpiPens. Don't forget your EpiPens now if you have bad allergies. Get it right, you guys. Don't be sitting up there breathing and swelling and you're, you're going to die if you don't have these types of things with you. <laughs> So the next thing in here, I have a few Rolaids. I always have these, these are in my travel bag. Um, so I have my Rolaids just in case you get heartburn, stomach problems, anything of that sort. The next thing in here is, ooh, OGX. OGX Shampoo and Conditioner um, Argan Oil of Morocco. And these are my staple. I love this shampoo and conditioner. OGX is a winner, you guys. It is sulfate free. Um, I use this all the time. I wash my hair like once or twice a week, depending on how much product I have in my hair. But, you know, I don't want to dry my hair out because my natural hair is curly, as you can tell. So I try not to use too much shampoo and conditioner in my hair. Maybe a leave-in conditioner, um, if anything like that. I usually, to the most, will wash my hair two times a week just in case um, I have too much product in my hair. And there's also dry shampoos. If you want to see a review for dry shampoos, leave a comment down in the um, comment section. Going on hair products, there's also this Argan oil of Moroccan oil that I have for my hair. As long as I have curly hair and I wash my hair, I'm going to have to put the oils back into my hair that I washed out when I washed it or my hair is going to be super frizzy and super crazy depending on the climate that I'm going to be in. I always want to make sure that I have the Argan oil on hand. Another thing that I use 
that this was not in my travel size bag, but I do use this at least two times a week is the Do Grow Stimulating Hair Oil. This is the bomb, you guys. I heard about this on someone else's channel. I can't remember her name. Oh, I believe it's The Fine Guru. Don't quote me. I will leave her name down in the description um, below. But this stuff is amazing. I just started using this Do Grow about two months ago, I'm going to say. And my hair is so much fuller, so much curlier. My hair is soft, smooth. It's not crunchy. It doesn't leave my hair like dry. It's beautiful. My curls are so pretty, as you can tell, because <laughs> I'm a diva. Moving on to hair products. Um, I have the John Frieda Frizz Ease Curl Reviver Mousse. And I don't use this a lot depending on what I'm going to do with my hair and if I style it up or if I have, you know, if I style my hair with curls and I want them to stay all night long, I might use this because if I use this while my hair is like this right now, it, it will leave it kind of crunchy and I don't like that whole crunchy feeling. I like my hair to feel natural and soft and just flow, you know, like a wild lion mane. Another um, styling product is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Moisture Barrier Firm Hold Hairspray. And I only use this if I pull my hair back or if I have like a few flyaways that I might need or just to hold any kind of styling that I need to do. And that's that. And the next thing that I have is Crest 3D White Radiant Mint Toothbrush. Yes, we need to brush our teeth. We want our breath smelling like either cinnamon, mint, bubble gum, but not butt and not funk. Brush your teeth, y'all. You only have two sets of teeth. Yes, two sets of teeth because you got your baby teeth and you have your permanent teeth. So you have, you have two chances to make sure that you take care of your teeth. Take care of your teeth, you guys. And you good looking people out there, shouldn't you shouldn't have your breast smell like booty out there. Now get it together, brush your teeth, crest. Moving on to the oral care. I do have another bag that I do have. And this is my oral travel bag. And I take this in my purse every day, everywhere that I go. And let me tell you what is in this bag as i open it the first thing that comes out of the bag is this little um if you can see it it's a little brush and um like a little um floss brush you use it to floss in between the braces and the teeth if you can see it and of course i've never used any of these things except for a toothbrush and the next thing in here is a tooth mirror. So you can look in the back of your teeth and see if you're doing good with brushing or if you have any kind of weird feelings or if you feel funny or if you miss a spot, you can use that. And I don't have just one. This is a toothbrush that I usually use. See, it's open. I don't have just one toothbrush, but I have two two toothbrushes. This is my travel one that I haven't that I have not used yet, but I do use the other one. Um, and next, I have the floss and dental floss threaders. And all you have to do is, and you put the floss in through it, and then you put the threader in between your braces. And you can floss that way. It's very tedious to floss when you have braces, but when you have these, it's a little bit easier for you. Oh, the next thing, these are these are like really good things that I use when I'm having my shifting in my teeth and pain in my teeth. Oral gel, of course. This is a great to use if you're having pain and when your braces um, are tightening and you have that shift and your wires are starting to stick out a little bit use this dental wax as you can see i have used almost half of my dental wax but it works wonders on your mouth and your uh, wire if you need 
to cover that wire up. You just put a little ball of that wax on and stick it right where that wire is sticking you in your cheek so that you won't have any pain or your wire won't cut up your cheeks or lips or wherever it is cutting you up at. So that concludes everything in my travel size hygiene bag and my oral hygiene bag. I hope you guys like this. If you want to see more videos of this type of stuff, please comment down in the section below. Thumbs this video up. And please, please, you guys, join this Diva Squad. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell next to the subscription. And until next time, blessings. Oh, no, girl, don't do that.